In this video, I'll show you how to recover an iPhone when iTunes cannot help you anymore. I'm Lucas from Apple Fox and let's begin. For this, we're going to be using a software called the DR Phone, which are, by the way, sponsoring this video. So thank you for that. And this software allows you to enter and exit recovery mode, as well as fix other errors that you may have with your iPhone. So I'll be recovering the iPhone 7 using my MacBook. You can install it on Mac OS as well as on Windows. The iPhone 7 is recognized by iTunes, but it is stuck on black screen and nothing pops up. That's like the main problem of this device. So the way it works is that you connect your iPhone to your computer with a cable. Apparently nothing shows up on a screen because it is stuck on uh, the black screen. You open up the DR Phone app and as you can see, there are many options on what to do and what to click on. In our case, you need to click on System Repair. And now you have two options. You can try to recover the data or if you don't care about it and just want a functional phone, click on the Advanced Mode, which will erase all of your files. I'll use the Advanced Mode because I don't have any files on the phone. Now it tells you to connect the phone, but you can also manually choose the device if it's not recognized. Once you're here, you need to wait for the connection to be established, of course, which takes a couple of seconds. Now the device model is apparently iPhone 7, and you can choose the latest signed versions of iOS to be installed. iOS 13.5.1 is the latest, so let's begin. If I click on start, however, it tells me that it can't go any further because my firmware packages are incorrect or it just failed. So hint cancel and on the page where we were before, you can see you can download the correct firmware. Hit the download and it opens up a browser and starts downloading right away. So it's just a one click process. Once the download is finished, you click on the select button underneath it and choose the downloaded firmware. Fix now, and it'll take a little bit of course, but we are still installing just the firmware, which is necessary, but so is the actual iOS. It may happen that you won't even need to do this step, but I'm showing it to you because it requires to even install the firmware on this iPhone 7. So we're finished now fixing the firmware. At this moment, you can start the iOS repair process. Maybe restart the app or even the entire computer if you want and get to the same page we were before. And now you can just click on the start button, which we tried before. Then it didn't let us because the firmware wasn't correct and we fixed that and we can click on start and it will start to repair the actual iOS. Of course, iOS 13.5.1 is selected and now there aren't any pop-ups regarding the firmware and it's starting to download the actual iOS. The file is more than 3 gigabytes, so depending on your internet connection, it will take like a couple of minutes, of course. After it gets downloaded, the app will fix the iOS. Around this time, the iPhone will start to boot up, you'll finally see some form of life on it, the regular Apple logo at first, and it will just start like a regular iPhone. You should also keep in mind that it may happen, of course, that your screen doesn't work or it's not connected properly. If it doesn't work or something, it won't light up. So no matter what you do in terms of the software, if your screen just doesn't work, you cannot expect the iPhone to light up. No app or software is going to fix your hardware problems. I personally went ahead and decided to erase the iPhone completely so there isn't any data left on the phone, but if you decide to keep the data on the phone, the app will recover it for you. So well, you will end up having the iPhone the way it was before. So I think that this is pretty useful. I want to say thanks a lot for watching and your support. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope that it helped you in any form or way. And if you did, then I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. It's going to help the channel, of course, and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.